Hi, I'm Dr. Morna Foy, president of the Wisconsin Technical College System. There are so many great things happening in our system. That's why I'm visiting all 16 colleges to celebrate our 300,000 students, our staff, faculty, and leadership teams for everything they do to make our campuses vibrant and innovative places to learn and grow. I can't wait to go back to college. The next stop on our tour of excellence is Mid-State Technical College. We started at the main campus in Wisconsin Rapids, where I met President Shelley Mondike before hopping on the campus shuttle for a ride to Aspirus Riverview Hospital, home of Mid-State's Healthcare Simulation Center. This is one of the debrief rooms that we have um, here. So the students will um, meet in here with their faculty person, and that's where they'll start their day. Students study specialties like nursing, paramedic technician, and surgical technology, just to name a few. We do have um, Athena, so she's considered a high fidelity. So she does look different than we saw um, with those other, other mannequins. So she's got um, LED eyes, so she'll blink and look around the room. She has heart sounds, lung sounds, bowel sounds. She has pulses throughout. Yep, she does breathe. She has chest rise and fall. So a lot of that assessment data that our students are looking for, they can get right from their patients. Good morning. Welcome everybody to uh, Mid-State Regional Medical Center. At the heart of today's are, visit, uh, I was invited to join an ethics to, training uh, simulation with hospital staff, Mid-State staff and students, and local law enforcement and emergency responders. We're in the middle of a huge snowstorm. We, we have not had um, a snowstorm like this in probably 20 years. Uh, we lost power several hours ago, but our generators have kicked on. Everything seems to be working well. Um, but outside, we've got high winds. Uh, the roads are, are largely impassable. That's pretty much whiteout conditions. How are you doing today, team? I'm doing good. Excellent. My name's Keith. I'm the chief Morning. paramedic for the hospital. Nice to meet you. How are you? I'm good. I teamed up with President Mondike, Stevens Point Fire Chief J.B. Moody, and Mid-State student Zayden Schoolman. Our job is to assess the various challenges that a hospital could face during a storm and make recommendations using our best judgment. The first scenario involves a pregnant mother who needs to be transported to another hospital for a very specialized procedure for her and her baby. We're looking at probably on a good day, an hour, to, to get her down there. Um, extended transport, you know, um, it, it could be an hour and a half uh, to, to really push it. If we get stuck though, you know, we can't guarantee that there'll be a positive outcome for mom and baby. How much time do we have to make this decision is what I want to know. Um, like you bring this group in. In real life? <laughs> yeah, in real life. In this type of storm, you would have your advisors from the hospital <laughs> working with your um, transport teams, potentially either online or through you know, phone communication, but definitely would be working like this together jointly. Okay. So this is our surgical dilemma. We have a surgical team that is on location and ready to begin prepping a patient who is scheduled to receive a kidney. I've had the diagnosis of chronic renal disease or kidney disease for several years. As part of the simulation, instructors in another room give the mannequin a voice. I've been waiting for a long, long time. I've had other people try to match and donate for me, and it just has been kind of a struggle for me. If we do have complications, the surgery is going to take many, many hours. This is a scenario that we actually put together that we run for a lot of leadership groups that come through. It's a good opportunity for them to exercise critical thinking. For our regular medical students, that's where the importance comes in. It's really trying to learn how to prioritize and, and um, be able to best use our resources to take care of the vast amount of people that we can um, you know, without, without jeopardizing anybody. We have three choices still. Yes. We can send her to the other place. We can um, direct them to do surgery, but do both surgeries um, and go with that and decide which order. Or we can um, say, get an ambulance, right? Or we can say, just do one of the surgeries. He's very exhausted. I don't feel comfortable putting him in that position. After listening to all scenarios and asking questions, we discuss our options as a team. The point of the exercise isn't to determine who is right or wrong. It's to learn how to make the best decisions we can with the information and resources we have. I'm really impressed by the students that um, are voluntarily pursuing these kinds of careers.